All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. You won't believe what's happened since the last time you were here. Let's just go over and look at the results uh, and take a peek at where we are in the league table. So firstly, let's look at the league table, see how we've been getting on. I think last time out, we were 15th. I think we bumped up to 12th uh, with the win. Now, there has been a big, big improvement in terms of form. A big improvement in terms of form. Home form currently, we have the best home form in the league. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of games that since since we haven't uh, since we've lost at, at home. It's, it's sort of nine, ten games or something. We are sixth. We're in the playoff spots. Admittedly, only by goal difference. But we're in there and we're in the mix. If we take a look at the results since the last time we were here, I think, if I remember correctly, you guys were here for the 2 0 win at Charlton. We've only lost one game since then. We followed that 2 0 up at Charlton with another convincing 2 0 win at Sheffield United. Uh, a couple of draws which I weren't happy with, uh, especially against weaker sides in the league. 0-0 nil -nil at Oxford and 1-1 at Birmingham. Followed that up with an absolutely fantastic performance at QPR. 2-2 two -two at Reading. Bookings all over the place, actually, which which is a bit concerning. I'm keeping an eye on it. 1-0 Bristol City. 3-0 at Barnsley. Uh, we lost 3-0 away to Brentford, which... We had a couple of injuries. Uh, you can see from the squad there, it wasn't even necessarily a, a full-strength squad we put out. We've we've been struggling with injuries and, and a few people have left. A couple of new people in, but we'll we'll talk about those. 3-0 win at Rotherham in the league. And then the last game out that I played was a 3-1 win against Plymouth in the FA Cup fourth round. Um, you will see, uh, just in case you guys are interested, uh, we've drawn Manchester City in the next round, which is a... A huge game. We beat Accrington in the third round, just beat Plymouth in the fourth round, which was a nice draw for us, actually. And then we've drawn probably the most difficult team we could have drawn in the next round, Manchester City. Now, you heard me mention transfers. There's been a bit of business. In terms of new players in, so we've got uh, Jordan Lawrence Gabriel, uh, 425 grand. Bought him in as just some backup in that right wing back position. He can play centre back as well, which, which gives us a, an option. Then Jamie Shackleton, which was the big one that we bought in uh, from Leeds. If you remember in the video, I said I was looking for something that could add a bit of depth into the middle and someone that could add a bit of depth to the right sort of wing back position. This guy's got it all. Um, natural position playing central midfield, natural position playing uh, defensive right and wing back. And then he can play defensive mid, uh, attacking mid and, and, you know, unconvincing, but he can play there. So there's a lot we can do with him. He's a good player, very well-rounded. I don't think he's going to develop much more than he is at the moment. 24, so he's got a few years left in him, but he's good. And we got him from Leeds. He's only ever been at Leeds. He has played well, with, well for us so far. Four appearances in the championship, one assist. Uh, and his first game was that um, FA Cup game against Accrington. Uh, and he scored in that one as well. So been solid now let's talk about transfers out there's been a few i'm not happy with all of them but they wanted to go they forced being put on the transfer list i didn't have a choice so gamash who has obviously appeared for us consistently last season was well down the pecking order i have to admit this season he was it was just sub appearances uh he wasn't happy with that he wanted to go so we he's gone to if i'm honest a team that are can't even pronounce the name of uh, for 700k. We've had uh, a couple more guys leave as well as Gamash. We've had uh, Familia Castillo, who wasn't bad at all, but he just he wasn't getting the first team football. He's not good enough for us to get to get first team football. He'll make the odd sub appearance for us, but that's you know it's, it's about it. That's that's the best we can do. Uh, ben Thompson getting to the back end, end of his career in general. We bought him in uh, League One just to add a bit of depth. He wanted to go 40, 40 grand. He's Rodrigo Vica, he's one of the lads we bought in in the summer. Now, frustratingly, he didn't want to stay because he wanted to start every game. He's not going to start every game. He's good enough to, you know, come off the bench and, and have regular sub appearances, but that's it. Uh, so he's gone to Fernabache, 1.1 million, then a few lads out on loan. So it is what it is. Uh, this game today, we play Ipswich Town. They came up from League One with us. They're in fifth place. We're in sixth. 
Uh, if we win the game, we go level on points with them. Uh, we don't go above them in goal difference, but cement our place a bit more in the playoffs. And, and like I said at the start of the season, this really was the, the focus for me to really push on and, and fingers crossed touch wood at least make that playoff spot. It's a, it's a big, big ask and a big jump for us to even get within touching distance of those automatic promotion places but I certainly think we're we're good enough to really try and concrete our position uh, in the playoffs and, and see how we get on so enough enough talking from me Let, let's just head into this game with Ipswich Town let's look at the team we've obviously got the, the newbies in there as well so we'll see how we're lining up not much change in terms of tactics it's working let's carry on doing what we're doing let's head over to the game come on boys right here we go guys this is the squad for this one we've got a few injury issues at the moment uh, a few players out on longer term injuries just coming back from injuries I mean you can see we've got orange all over the place here uh, we had Williams out Davenport out Lanzini was out injured the other Williams is just coming back from an injury uh, Lawrence Gabriel's just coming back from an injury I mean he's we're, we're gonna have to play players that aren't completely match fit for this one and uh, Shackleton is in the starting lineup, has been since we bought him for sure coming in as a, as a makeshift central midfielder I don't actually think we've got uh, anyone who's fit enough for us to put there Williams and Jason Knight um, both on the bench but fitness wise they're not quite there Helm and Story linking up in the in the center of the defensive line it's it's going to be a very very tough game this one we're not necessarily at full fitness bit of an injury crisis but I think we've got enough to do it certainly the team are linking well there's a nice level of integration and, and and i mean i don't know how we've done it but we, we really have sort of outperformed what we were expecting to do from the from the board and, and certainly from the media prediction so let's uh let's just see how we get on with this one but i'm i'm hopeful but i've got to be cautious as well uh, Shackleton with it out wide chops back inside to lanzini tries to play through to buchanan doesn't quite make it Shackleton picks it up again in the middle. Helm long ball out wide to Buchanan. Pushes full ball in. Xerxes off the line. Bundled in. Yes. Um, scrappy goal. Scrappy, scrappy goal. But look, a goal's a goal. And I mean, after that attacking play building up to that with Xerxes hitting the post, it probably deserved it. I mean, what a ball that is. Buchanan gets it in. Look at that. And it's just fumbled over the line. So, what can I say? It's uh, it's good enough. Eight minutes in and we're 1-0 uh, up, which I can't complain about because we are not playing a full a full strength squad. There is fitness issues all over the place. It's another highlight. It's Ipswich here. We've intercepted the ball. Force picks it up, winds his way through. Oh, great save do with another goal we're really struggling with fitness already there's players that that uh, i'm probably gonna have to make some changes at half time yeah fine so i think there's a few uh a few changes in order here so who have we got that's really struggling so apo helm is struggling let's i haven't really got anyone to swap him out with uh they're just gonna have to manage i've got i've got no depth left in the middle at the back everyone's injured or out of fitness so it's just gonna have to manage I think let's bring Dylan Williams on let's bring Dylan Williams on and let's play Buchanan for Helm bring Joel Ward on there right that's it so slight change at the back slight shuffle around just because we uh, don't really have much going on so it's tough but let's hope we can carry on as we did in the first half 1-0 up not much going on, but it looks like we're dominating. Lanzini with the ball into the box. So they're, they're on the break here. Oh, well backtracked there. Davenport picks it up. Story, for sure. Lanzini, for Xerxes picks it up. Long shot. Oh. You've got to be lucky scoring from there. Lanzini's knackered. Shackleton's knackered. He's on a yellow. Let's bring Lanzini. In fact, he's got the book in. So let's bring him off. Uh, and put Callum right in for Shackleton. Xerxes picks it up out wide. Shackleton, whose uh, day is just about to end. Davenport, back pass to Lanzini for sure. Ball through Xerxes. Can't get there. Deal with it. Williams picks it up. Buchanan. 
just realised that's n there we go Dylan Williams and Buchanan were the wrong way round. I'm sure I put them the right way round at half time. Nevertheless, Story's pushing forward here. Long ball forward, Zerks, he picks it up. Oh, well saved. I mean, you can see fitness. It's just struggling all over the place here. So we can see it out. Ten minutes to go. We've been the better team across the board for this game. So it's a throw in for us deep in our own half. Ward, Story heads back to Ward. Back to story. Davenport story. I don't like this at this stage of the game. Back to the goalkeeper. Lumps it upfield. Goalkeeper gets it on the volley. Offside, surely. Come on, boys. You've got this. Yes! Come on! Well... That's a, that's a massive result for us. Massive, massive result. Uh, I'll go back. We'll take a look at the league table. You'll see it in a sec. Uh, we go level on points with... So, yeah. So, we go level on points with Ipswich. Uh, we're one point clear. So, not too much. But we're pushing. We're pushing to cement that place in the playoffs. I just... I've got no words for it. We've been playing absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, one thing. I've got to give a shout out to Joe and his comment on one of the videos last season. Because... 4-4-2 is what we needed. That 4-4-2 diamond formation, playing slow, is really, really working. We were the be we've been the better team. We're, we're up here fighting for promotion. What an episode. I, I mean, I wish there was, there was something more exciting for me to show you, but we're just doing well. Yeah, pushing on. And if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All of that really, really, really amazing stuff. It's been fun as ever, guys. Make sure you go over and, and check out... Um, Rob's Norwich save as well. I've put a card up there for you uh, to the playlist so you can see where he's at. Otherwise, it's been a great one. See you in the next video.